you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Here it's time for another Ask Camp Cannon episode. I hope you're having a good Saturday morning because that's when these things air. Unless, well, not air, because nothing really airs on YouTube now, does it? Uh, but whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a swell day. Uh, I'm having fun. I just got out of the gym, feeling energized. We got some uh, pellets thrown down for some of the tortoises. Today's question is from uh, Jessica Bella. And Jessica asks, Hey, Kenan, what is the best ratio for housing, that means sex ratio, male to female ratio, for housing redfoot tortoises? Uh, and I think this is an actually a uh, pretty good topic because uh, so many people are trying to figure out the best ratios. Well, uh, here's some right now. Uh, here's some tortoises, and uh, they're all out and about, and they are redfoot tortoises. So what is the best ratio? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't know. How do you like that? I don't think you can actually quantify or scientifically prove what the best ratio between male and female tortoises are to get them to breed or to be housed correctly. Now, the, the question uh, has many different answers, if that makes sense. Uh, there's many different factors uh, to keeping tortoises. You know I like to keep tortoises outside. So the first thing I like to do is I like to have space. Uh, space is important because, you know, when you put a bunch of males together, the problem could become uh, one of combat, and we don't want combat, but what we're going to do today is we're going to count how many male redfoot tortoises I have, and uh, we'll get a good answer. Let's let's figure this out. So uh, let's just start looking for the males. Uh, no, those are females, so bam, there's a male. You could tell because he's got that narrow waist, uh, which in redfoot uh, happens. There's another male, so that's two. We got two males there. No. Oh, that's not a male. Oh, no, no males there. Two males. Oh, here's another male. There's our third male. Here's another male. That's our fourth male. See the waist. And then if you want more proof, people, fourth male. There's the concavity. Fourth male. Fifth male. Oh, we got five males. Then we're going to have to find out how many females we have. And I'll tell you all about sex ratios. And when you, whenever you see, um, if you see something on uh, some forums or um, like kingsnake.com, people selling animals, you'll see a number 5.4, 5.20. 12.1. The first number indicates the amount of males you have. Uh, the second number is the number of females. And you may even see a third number. It could be 5.2.4. Uh, 0.4 means they are unsexable. They're too young to be properly sexed. Um, does anyone remember uh, what we were up to as far as males here? I already forgot. I think it was five. Let's count again. There's one, <laughs> two, three, four, uh, and five. So far, five. Here come some more kitties coming on out of their house. Come on out, guys and girls. So we got five. Um, I forgot how many redfoot tortoises I actually have. And I will get to answering the question. I just wanted to do this work first. So we got five. Oh, hello. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Anyone else left in there? Anyone else? Anybody? Anybody at all? I'm going to peek my head in and see what's going on in here. Take off the hat. Peek on in. Oh, I don't see anybody else. That's interesting. All right, nobody else. Okay, everyone is out. Everybody is out. So um, we can now get an accurate number. So here's what we're going to do. We got five males. So let's find out how many females we have. So five. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 seven. What's this? What's this? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 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 thirteen. So it's five point thirteen. Let's go see if anyone's floating around back. Five males to 13 females. Now, is that a good ratio? Well, I'd say so because I get fertile eggs out of these guys every year. Um, it's basically when dealing with tortoises, you rarely you can manage to have fertile eggs or enough fertility in the eggs if you have just one male. Uh, if you had like 1.1, one female to one male, it would be tough sometimes to get them to reproduce because 
you need these guys to have competition. Competition is good in life. It happens in nature, it happens in our societies, uh, and it breeds innovation, it breeds competition, uh, breeds, you know, survival of the fittest here in nature. Uh, so basically that's what you're trying to get accomplished. You kind of want these guys to uh, not necessarily battle to the death, uh, but you want there to be some competition because what scientists have found is that it actually increases testosterone in the males and by increasing testosterone you are increasing sperm productivity and you will then increase fertility so very important so here's some gals eating there's another male uh it's an interesting thing so what i like to do is i like to have of course uh depending on size of the enclosure I like to have more males, uh, more than one male, uh, and then I like to have less males than females, because as we know, males can kind of wander about and breed with multiple females, uh, and thus increase the chances of fertile eggs. Um, there are some tortoises like my sulcatas. Let's go check them out. Let's go walk over to the sulcatas because that's a different story, right? Because we know that sulcata tortoises really combat all the time, but they will settle down. And once they settle down, uh, they can get along quite well. You can actually have multiple males in an enclosure, but the key is enclosure size. You got to make sure that they are completely other oh, slinky. Hi, slinky. I don't know if you guys want to stop in and say hello to Slinks. Uh, let's stop in, say hello to Slinky. I know some of you haven't seen him in a while. Uh, it's important to say hello to Slinky. Right now it's just one Slinky, no females. Uh, I'd love to get him a female. And with this guy, I'd do just, a, uh, just him. You don't want to have another male with this lizard because they can really fight and it can get too violent. Um, but... That being said, if I were able to have a massive enclosure, I'm talking massive, like a couple acres, uh, I could probably keep more than one male. Um, so you just got to be careful. So there's slinks, okay? But with tortoises, by and large, they're not as violent as some other reptile species uh, when it comes to multiple males in one enclosure. I hope I'm doing this question justice. Let's walk over to the Sulcata tortoise enclosure, which is about a half acre. Uh, right now, there are two males. Uh, one of my other males passed away a few months ago, uh, but here's one of them. This is uh, one of the oldest guys I got that's Lumpy. So Lumpy's hanging out here. And then Brutus is actually out and about. Let's see where Brutus is. Well, maybe Brutus is in here. Let's open this up and see. But again, Sulcatas will combat a lot. Uh, no Brutus in there. Nope, all gals. No Brutus. Uh, let's go find him. So Cottas will combat. And I, you know, have had three males in this enclosure for a long time and was getting great productivity. This year I lost a male. Uh, my eggs, you know, they haven't laid as many eggs. Uh, so very interesting, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Hercules from the other side of the other enclosure. I'm actually going to combine the two groups of tortoises uh, and just let them all stay here. So I'm going to add Hercules and we're going to add two more female tortoises to this uh, group and then that'll do it. Uh, so Brutus is somewhere around. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where Brutus is, man. We got to find Brutus, don't we? I don't like when my children are. Not. There he is. I found him. All right, everyone. We got Brutus uh, and here he is. So this time of year, there's really not much going on. The tortoises aren't combating, but starting up in late August, early September, the males will start to combat, and that's what drives up their testosterone levels. Hey, what's up, Brutus? What's up, buddy? People saying hello to y'all. Oh, don't be scared. Sorry to sneak up on you, dude. So there he is. There's Brutus hanging out, um, and he's a beautiful male. He's large. He's got a little weirdness with the shape of his shell. He grew up indoors up in New York. He's got a little bit, because of this indentation, some moisture will collect here. So he does get a little bit of this superficial uh, fungus and it really doesn't hurt him. Uh, I just try and keep him as dry as possible. You just don't want that to turn into a rot. So I just throw some tenactin, that tough actin tenactin on him. He gets a little bit of a 
spray and he's doing okay because it is very very humid here in florida uh, we have a lot of rain and stuff so there he is so there's two males right now we're going to add a third we're going to add two more females so right now there's 10 tortoises total i'm horrible at math but let's figure this out so we're going to go we're going to add two more females three minutes so it'll be 13 tortoises it'll be 3.10 uh, that's how I'll do it here. Any more males in the sulcata world and it just gets too chaotic during breeding season. Uh, I don't want to be flipping tortoises over all day. And as we know, some of you longtime uh, followers of the channel know that I had a tortoise named Zeus. Uh, he was killed by Lumpy, who we just met a little while ago. Uh, he was about 200 pounds and Lumpy was able to kill him. So anyway, here we go. Uh, what I'd suggest to you, Jessica, is to definitely get another male. Uh, I think 2.3, 2.4, 2.5 is really good. Uh, when you start getting over that, you want to add another male to it. Uh, there's no perfect science to it. Uh, there may be some tortoise breeders out there who think they have figured it all out. Uh, I don't think biology is a perfect science. It's always teaching us something new, uh, and tortoise breeding is the same way. And as I was just talking to you, this guy just climbed on off of a female. So we have 15 leopard tortoises in here, and uh, I have six males. So six males, nine females, uh, and there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it answered your question, Jessica. And thanks for being a Patreon supporter. For those of you out there who want to help us at the camp, go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan and become a Patreon supporter for some content that you don't see on any of the other channels. And uh, also follow us at Camp Kennan Army channel. That's important too. We're building that channel up. That's a channel for you guys where you can post videos of your enclosures and how you're keeping your animals. Here's a quick sneak, sneak peek of some uh, radiated tortoises. I can't speak well sometimes. Anyway, um, thank you for helping us out. Don't forget to like the video if you do. If you don't, well, give a thumbs down. What am I gonna tell you? I can't stop you. Uh, all right, everybody, that's it for me. I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much. Bye now.